Good morning. What's your take on it? Good morning, gents. You okay? Good, mate. Thank you. Fire away. Um, my take is, first of all, I'm a bit surprised that you're all talking about Sean Dyche. Um, He's not the issue here. The problem is that for whatever reason, and maybe you can enlighten me, um, the rules seem to differ for, for different people, for different football clubs. Um, I don't want to see players sent off. I mean, to be honest with you, it's a Merseyside derby. You all shouldn't have gone. It's a derby. And in years gone by, get up, get on with it. But you've made that decision. Okay, that's today's game. There's no explanation other than he didn't want to send Canate off. That's it. There's no other explanation. If yeah. you've got one, throw it out there. I, I, do you remain absolutely baffled this morning, Mike, as baffled as you were I'm at the time of the incident? All, no. I'm not baffled at all because I've seen too many of them. The things I've watched at Goodison Park, especially since the VAR nonsense came in, I've watched football a long time. Do you remember 61? Mm. It's, it's nonsense. Mm. Ma- Ma- nonsense. Mike, it's a, it's a hard question to answer, but in view of what's going on historically with this fixture uh, and with... Liverpool's overwhelming, overwhelming number of wins in this fixture. Mm. They come out and talk. Yeah. Would it made any difference if Canati had been sent off? I think um, it would because they didn't look as though they they were going to break Everton down. They huffed and puffed. Um, I don't think they'd have won the game. But that, that's irrelevant as well now because yes, you, true. Can't that. you can't say that. But watching 70 minutes of the game, um, they, they weren't or they were hitting Everton on the break when we were attacking, actually trying to break us down. They weren't doing it. So, no, I think Everton would have dug in and got a well-earned point. Which they might well have done, Everton. Mike. Listen, thanks for the call. Simon's another Evertonian. Love you trying to get through. Simon, good morning. Are you with Mike on yeah, that mate. one? Yeah. Uh, how long have I got? How long have you got? Not long, Simon, yeah. so get to it. Yeah. A minute or two, on you go. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so basically, I don't really want to talk about the referees and stuff like that because... Just getting a bit bored of it, to be honest with you. So, uh, my my disappointment from Saturday still is is the manager, our manager, because I backed him hundred percent. The minute he came in, the fitter than they've ever been, I backed him hundred percent. He got it totally wrong from start to finish on Saturday for me. In ter- in terms of Garner Gay should have started if he was fit, bit of experience centre midfield. Ashley Young should have been hooked on 17 minutes. He shouldn't have, to be honest, Ashley Young shouldn't have started because he's not a very good defender. Um, he should have been hooked on 17 minutes because it was clear that he was going to get sent off. Um, and it just went downhill from there. He got every decision. The substitutions were awful. Um, I think yeah. that's harsh, is it not? I mean, when you, when you think of it, Simon, <clears throat> Liverpool didn't exactly, you know... Uh, score a spectacular number of goals and Everton left with their, their tails between their legs, did they, Martin? Uh, Simon, so, wait, wait. so you saying after 17 Go minutes on. that Ashley Young should have been substituted because he was booked? Uh, uh, Martin, I was I was sat with my friends and I think it was 17 minutes when he, he kicked, he'd been booked and he kicked the ball away. Yeah, He kicked the ball away, which is obviously a bit of petulance. So he, he technically he should have got sent off then. It was always going to happen. And I... And, and I I have to walk out because it was always going to happen, and it happened. So if I can see it sitting in my chair watching the match, why couldn't Sean Dyke see it? Oh, right, OK. I, I I think that's a tough call, really, for any manager to go <laughs> seriously, to, to try and substitute somebody after 17 minutes in the game because they've been booked. Now, I didn't see the petulance, I must admit, of, of kicking the ball away, and you say that, that maybe it could have been a, a, a double booking and therefore a sending off. But I think, that, I, I think that, Sorry, that's, that, that I think that's tough. I, I mean, listen, I'm not an apologist for Ashley Young. Ashley Young, I had him, assigned him to out from Watford to Aston Villa and he was absolutely fantastic for me. But he is 37 or 38 years of age and he's getting on a little bit. But I don't, uh, I wouldn't, I, I was surprised that he went to ground, I must admit, for the second challenge. Uh, but that's 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 a split second thought where you think that the uh, the opposition yeah. has just beaten you and he's bearing into the penalty area for so you're a wee bit concerned yeah. about that. But overall, yeah. I, I think that would have been a tough one for a manager in a derby game there to take someone off after 17 minutes. He got booked, so he got his first book and then he got, and then he kicks the ball away. Okay, so all right, he, he, he could have been sent off twice. I know you were saying I I, I didn't I didn't I didn't spot that one, but I I seriously I'm I, I'm not so sure. Well, these these well, the, 
Yeah. Well, okay, second half, second half, Canate clearly should have been clearly should have been sent off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Klopp sees that and th- but, and and I give obviously give Dice is due. It's much easier to do it in the second half. I agree. Okay, listen, Simon, we could go on and on. The scoreline remains. It was 2-0 Liverpool, uh, and it was Klopp who came to Kanati's rescue in the end and decided it was enough for him uh, on the field of play. We're coming up to 12 noon. Lots to get through in the final hour today. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.